Alright. Alright, another video of the day. I've got my light, yeah, to help us see a bit. Let's look in here first. Basically, got my electrical snail fan. When I put a lever two down, that comes on. Not only when the ignition's on. Uh, it's a little bit dark. But you can see this pipe here that comes down into. Let me get the light up, yeah. pipe there comes down into that oval shaped pipe and there's a rubber seal there goes through the tin there on the other side I've got a round one with another rubber seal there that fan blows air which draws in the engine bay down and through and out right the oval one comes in there and into this heat exchanger and exhaust. You see my aluminium bit starting to put off already. Right, heat exchanger comes here and then you've got a riser pipe there and what they call a heater box up here. Get a little bit more. Right, heater box you can see there has a lever on it, right? See it over in there? And that cable, if you see it, that cable there goes into this metal pipe here. And that runs the lever two on the dash, and there's one on the other side as well. When you pull that cable, it opens the flap in the seat box, and that, that allows air which is blown by that fan over the heat exchangers so it gets heated because this case here has nothing to do with the exhaust it's like a, it's like a shell around an aluminium finned um, exhaust pipe so that allows heat transfer and through this car corrugated plastic tube it's dually clipped on either end into this piece here you can see it above there the jewel clippers and that scrappy piece of pipe goes into that white piece there very common for them to rust away and let air escape that is just like um, an insulating jacket and it runs along the bus through a corrugated pipe um, this pipe here is connected to it but at the front and that allows heat to the back passenger compartment if I uh, jolt the bus get this light out see the rest of oh, that corrugated pipe there which runs up through there to that oh, there's elbow up under the dashboard and that uh, allows hot air up into the cab you've got these three cables running here two which are just replaced two of them connected to lever two and they run through conduit, metal conduits, all the way to the back to operate the heater boxes. Right, let's go back in the middle of us a bit. As you can see, this light takes a hammer in. Right. Let's corrugate the pipe here now joins there into another sort of it's not really a white piece is it this bit doubles back on itself and goes all the way to the back again which is a bit uh, daft but there is like a control box in there which is operated by lever one on the dashboard you can see there my brake servo and stuff and the 
copper pipes. I do the progress. Do make the old rub on. And there's another pipe there then. Right over there. That runs up into the floor area behind the cab. Brake equal is involved. And that's all there is to it. This pipe looks a bit crusty. It's a conduit for the electric cables. Yeah, that is crusty, so I'm going to have to do something about that. You know what this is? I'm on axle stands. The jack is only there. There's an extra precaution, it's not really held on any weight. It's got these big axle stands with a chug chug paint all over them. It's pretty good, isn't it? Apart from that conduit, which I've uh, never noticed before. It's not that important. I can cut it out and put some uh, armor flex over the cables. Oh. That's basically it for the other side of then. Right, we're going to the dash now. Right, Th this, look in here now, right, up you see. This is heater control flap one. That operates this pipe, this cable here, which is disconnected. You can see more when. Goes down there somewhere. I need to sort it out. It operates two cables, a short one, and the other one goes under the box, under the cab, cab, under the kebab, as you said. This lever two here operates the heater box at the back. And it's got a lovely movement, so I know it's connected properly. I checked it anyway. And this blue one then. Operates the flaps on the front of the bus. There's two flaps under there that are, you can't see because under that grill, but it allows cold air into the cab, and then air then can exit then here. I think that's cold air only, but I could be wrong. And these are hot air. Some people have little ambulance fans mounted here. There's vents under there, you can see. That flap one directs where the air is going to go to. Lever one, I mean. In the back then, I've got that vent there. I've also got that vent there. They're all for heaters. So we're going to heat those in the back from both directions and heat us up the cab. And my lights plugged into my electric lock, I suppose it works. And you will not believe the heat coming off this fridge. So much so that that has warped. When it goes down, that's flat. So battery's still not charging looks it so look yeah battery not a flicker I spoke to my mate he's got a good leisure battery he can have I'm toying here whether to put the LEDs in there or not I'm thinking of rewiring it so the three bulbs come on at once on one switch I'm going to switch the other direction yeah LEDs come on but, uh, yeah, we'll go, hope I explain the heating. Signing off.